Storms brought heavy rain, high winds, and blinding flashes of lightning to the region this afternoon. A lot of water fell over a very short period of time, flooding some roads and parking lots. Ralph Iannotti checked out some of the damage. Isolated but strong storms hit the area with the one-two punch. In some spots, it was heavy rains, which resulted in flooding. In others, it was damaging winds. The sound was kind of like if you take a bunch of pickup sticks and you crunch them together. Powerful winds brought down part of an old black walnut tree on Watson Street in Coriopolis. When the tree came down, it brought power lines with it, leaving a few homes in the immediate neighborhood in the dark. Another section of the tree ironically broke off two days ago and punched a hole in the attic roof of Rachel Kenyon's home. Opened up the windows and just the sheets of rain and you can see the tree and the wind and everything. I was very worried. I ran to grab towels because there was water just coming in from the previous, from Tuesday's branch. Kenyon told me when the storms rolled in, she had just gotten home a few minutes earlier and she could see the storms coming. When the power went out and I heard the crunch, that's when I just ran. In O'Hara Township, it wasn't the wind, but the rain that caused the problem. A low-lying section of Freeport Road near Blonix was flooded. Traffic had to be restricted to one lane, which caused a major rush hour backup. Traffic was moving here, but only in one direction at a time. But every time there's a hard rain, this is closed. There's a manhole down there, but right now it's clogged. For some reason, we, normally we can go to this storm drain and clean it out. This time it's clogged completely. So why the persistent flooding and who's at fault here? According to the assistant Blonix fire chief, there's some finger pointing going on about who's to blame. State claims that it's a uh, township problem. Township claims it's a state problem. We're stuck in the middle. Duquesne Light and West Penn Power reported no major power outages as a result of this latest round of storms. In Coriopolis, I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.